Hey guys, it's Nick from Miss here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new Mortal Kombat 11 discussion video. So today I'm going to be talking about what I think were some of the missed opportunities in Mortal Kombat 11. I think we can all agree we feel a little robbed that there wasn't longer support for the game and more DLC, and there easily could have been a Combat Pack 3, but I'm just going to save that entire topic for another video because I really want to go in depth when I talk about Combat Pack 3. But I will point out that NRS could have at least released some more skin packs and even some more classic stages, just stuff like that as DLC, and it could have supported the game longer. It didn't necessarily have to be specifically characters. So, first of all, I thought Combat League was an interesting online ranked mode that they added for Mortal Kombat 11. They did 16 seasons, and if you progressed far enough in the battles, you could earn four really unique skins for characters that were based on the theme of the season. Instead of doing more than 16 seasons, they just cycle them over and over. Easily could have had more content with a simple mode, four skins for a couple more seasons wouldn't have been too much to ask for, it honestly just could have kept the game alive longer. Mortal Kombat 11 could have just had more events in general. We never got any overly interesting towers, considering the intricate tower system they have. We just got mostly generic ones, and you know, there was the odd holiday ones, which were cool, but I think the tower system had a lot of potential for cool events to have, you know, unique skins, brutalities, nothing. MK11 had very little communication with the fan base, and there were no bonus comics or any mobile rewards like there were with Mortal Kombat X. So there was nothing really that the fans could do interactively. Now, factions were a cool online mechanic that NetherRealm Studios introduced for Mortal Kombat X. There were five different factions. Lin Kuei, Brotherhood of Shadows, Special Forces, White Lotus, and Black Dragon. Whichever faction you chose, you'd earn points for every online battle you won, etc. And at the end of every week, whichever faction came on top with the most points, would reward their members with extra experience, skins, calling cards, emblems, all that jazz. There was also a type of finishing move called the faction kill, and each faction had five of them specific to their theme. Lin Kuei had ice weapons, special forces had drones. Honestly, most of them were boring, but it was kind of funny and a disrespectful way to finish off your opponent, and it earned a lot of points towards your faction. Anyway, the reason I've gone on about this is because they totally removed that system from the online component of Mortal Kombat 11, and for no good reason. I think it was a great mechanic, and taking it away is literally just taking a step backwards. Aside from Combat League, MK11's online experience had nothing going for it. I think NRS should have developed the faction system further with better rewards, and they could have maybe even implemented like something like a battle pass with it. Not to mention new factions could have been added and they could have improved on faction kills. It's a real shame, but I honestly don't think we'll see the faction system return, especially considering how quickly they were to just neglect it for the next game. So far, most of my points have just been about the potential the online components have had and just the lack of DLC support. So to finish this video off, my last point and probably the most important point to me is yet another Mortal Kombat game has come and gone with no tag combat added. Tag team mode was in Mortal Kombat 9 and overall the fans loved it and they've requested its return ever since. You could play with friends against other tag team matchups either online or just against the computer. It was a great mode and for someone like me who has friends who are fighting game casuals it's a perfect mode since my friends never want to play against me because they know they'll lose. I honestly just don't see why Tag Combat such a hard mode to implement, it was received well, it functioned well in Mortal Kombat 9, and it would add an even better multiplayer aspect to the game. They could have added some more modes for online, including Tag Combat, there could have been Tag Towers, I know there were, but they could have done it like an actual Tag Team match, not just you fight until your health bar depletes and then you swap in with the next guy. There was just a lot of missing material like that, and I don't know. I feel like that's most of what was missing from Mortal Kombat 11, but I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below, because I definitely feel like Mortal Kombat 11 was an amazing game. It just could have used some more tweaking, some more DLC, and it really could have been perfect. If you want to see me do a Combat Pack 3 discussion video, let me know too.
Thanks for watching, guys. As always, this has been Necromus. See you later. Let's see how he likes the Kamehameha.